have our boy Kurt Jones who has something to say here. Take it over, Kurt. Yeah, it's your boy Kurt Jones reporting live from Gleason's Gym, Brooklyn, New York. You already know we have the media day workout for exciting night of boxing on October 14th. Barclay Center, Lara versus Gershaw, Charlo versus Lubin, Trout versus her is going down in Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying? The Mecca of boxing, the home of Biggie and Jay, you know what I'm saying? The birthplace of Michael Joy, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man Rocket from Queens, you already know. Shout out to this pretty lady right here, it's your boy Kurt Jones right here. Kiss the heart. How about I just kiss that lady? <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hey man, you gotta train for the 12 championship rounds. Uh. That's the, that's the most important thing, to stay, stay in shape and in your condition. You know, hard work beats talent all the time, so. What you do, running mountains or something, man? Uh, well, like high altitude, running, man. yeah, running, training, period, man. You know, intense training, you know, fighting like uh, training as if we were in a fight already. So, you know, just keep the, keep the pace high when we're in training and, and things like that. Probably could do a 15 round you old school. Oh, yeah, so most definitely, style. man. You already know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. If you would compare uh, Trout to anybody else you ever faced, would you say he's like the toughest? Oh, yeah, he's definitely the toughest as far as comparison. Uh, nah, I think, no, I don't, I don't see him fight, having fought anyone quite like Austin Trout, but uh, as far as competition, he, he, he feel, I feel like he's my toughest competition. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the Tony Harrison fight, you know, a lot of people, they, a lot, some people thinking that he has an edge, they just basing it off of that fight. Uh, do you feel, do you feel you needed to improve anything from that fight or, or what? Oh yeah, definitely, man. I feel like my foot, my footwork was a little sloppy that fight, you know. Uh, and I kept. But I had uh, never seen you get hit that. Yeah, yeah, either, yeah. You know? My defense too a little, man. But it, it, what it was is that I was letting uh, Tony Harris use angles on me and slide out the side door. I should have cut the ring off a little better, you know. With my feet work, I was just going straight instead of using angles myself. So uh, other than that, man, you know, we've been working on our footwork, making sure that uh, these guys can't move and dance circles around me. Okay, so you see this fight more of a chess match, or a little bit of... Oh yeah, it's definitely going to be more of a, a mind game in there than the physical strength or youth. You know uh -huh. what I mean? It's going to be definitely a mind game. Okay, is there anyone else, I mean, not looking past them, but is there anyone, since there's so much going on at oh, 154, yeah. anybody else on your hit list? Oh yeah, most definitely, man. This is this is the card to display the 154-pound talent. So, you know, we definitely want Laura, we definitely want uh, Jamel Charlo, uh, the winner of that fight with Lubin. So, um, you know, one of those guys, Antoine Boucher, if he, he he comes up with upset. Give me predictions guys. on them two fights, Charlo and Lubin. Uh, with the Charlo fight, I'm going to have to go with Charlo because we didn't, it is not to say that that fight's not 50-50 because we really don't know what Lubin can do. Uh -huh. This is his first time on a stage like this, and no telling, man, if he go out there and, you know, show off. So, uh, But as far as experience, as, well, as far as him, Charlo being there, I'm going to go with Charlo. And okay. with the Law fight, I don't think Terrell Boucher is quite on Law level right now, and I feel like Law will... It's going to take that fight over. Okay. Anything else you want the fans to know about this fight or anything else on your mind before I let you go, man? Oh, yeah, man. Just know that, like I said, this is a, a display for, for the 154-pounders uh, Saturday night. And y'all talk to the one that's right now that's going to be on top. All right, Jerry Hurry, y'all. Oh, thanks, man. man. Thanks, man. Right, I just got in town, so I, got a, I only got no shoes on. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, man. I just, yeah, right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have no gloves, <laughs> no, no shoes. Yeah, yeah. Here, this with the local and Southwest Fight News here with Jerry Hurd. So, Jerry, you're here at the same time Austin is. Is this kind of awkward? Uh, nah, man. You know, I see Austin a couple times outside of the outside of Jerry. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's no, no type of, nothing personal. You know, it's business and respect. You guys have been, for the most part, pretty respectful of each other's skills. Right. Why is it important for you to have this fight and why did you ask for it? Uh, because, you know, I want to be the best. In order to be the best, you got to be the best. And uh, I feel like Austin Child is one of the guys that even though he has three losses on the top level competition, in order to fight on the top level competition, you gotta get past a guy like Austin Trump. So I feel like this fight right here take me there. What would a win over him mean to you? Everything, career? man. And it'd be more important if I get a stop because within those three losses, uh, you know, it was all title fights, but he never been stopped. He been put down on the canvas to get back up to finish the fight. So, you know, getting a stoppage would separate me from um, you know, those 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 other three champions and uh you know I wanna I wanna I wanna show so that I'm, I'm much better than them. You mentioned just pulling up, uh, what was the, the travel delay uh, about what happened there? Uh the train man, you know, uh, the train was supposed to be here around twelve something to end up we ended up getting here like around one twenty, something like that. So uh, that's the reason why we're a little late and our bags are in the car still so we didn't have any chance to pack, man. So another Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your first defense of the title. What's it like to defend it against someone with such a resume like Trout? Uh, like I said, man, I, I, this is my second time fighting here in New York, 
and they always show me love and, and to defend my title here in Brooklyn, man, it's, it's, it's an honor, man. And uh, Swift Nation is definitely going to be in the house. Um, I just can't wait to pull on the show. That's a lot. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Where would you take the train from? Uh, Maryland, Maryland. Do you fly ever? Yeah, we do fly, but you know, they, they get, nah, just know we're not too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Playing, so. Oh, no, nah, no, nah, I'm getting on the plane, yeah. Are you fighting somebody that you admired a little bit? Or? Oh, yeah, man, we, we was always rooting for Austin, you know. But uh, and like I said, to be honest with you, I used to watch him on TV all the time. When he won this high, uh, fight with Cotto, I was rooting for him. Yeah. And, you know, we was always rooting for Austin, man. But like I said, it's just respect that, you know, he's a respectful guy, nothing personal, just business, and he's in the way right now. You, you mentioned being in the ring with him. How long ago was that, and what fight camps were you each getting ready for back then? Uh, that was a little while ago. That was before my TV debut, so uh, i say back in 2015, I think. It was back then, you know, spot, but it was only like two rounds up. Yeah. So I asked him this question. Um, is there a parallel between his fight with Miguel Cotto and your fight with him now? Do you feel you're in the role that he was against Miguel Cotto now against him? Uh, yeah, kind of sort of like he's defending his title and, uh, you know, kind of more guys was picking Miguel Cotto to win that fight and I don't know the real the odds on this one, but I see a lot of guys are going with Austin Trout on this fight, so, you know, it's kind of something similar, but at the end of the day, I like to be the uh, countered out and doubt it because when I win, it's even better. Oh yeah, shout out to Swift Nation, baby. I thank y'all for supporting me so much. Uh, y'all keep supporting me on pulling the show for y'all. Thank you. We have a super welterweight triple header coming to the Barclay Center on Saturday, October 14th. We have Erslandi Lara, who will be defending his title against Terrell Goucher. Then Jermel Charlo will go up against Erickson Lubin. And last but not least, Jared Hurd will face Austin Trout. Once again, that's Saturday, October 14th. It's at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, and it'll be broadcast live on Showtime.